Convenient, less expensive, and less invasive. There's an explosion of growth in the at-home medical testing industry. But are they reliable? The I-Team's Cynthia Gould checks in with the experts. A check of the local pharmacy and you'll find dozens of home tests, pregnancy, UTI, drugs, COVID, and HIV. So it's more convenient. The patients can uh, find the result in a fast way. Obviously, they're a lot cheaper, right? Agree. Dr. Abed says she likes the home tests, private for people who are shy and anxious at the doctor's office. But there will be some false positives and false negatives. I think overall, it's a positive thing. What we've kind of always say for any sort of screening test, the best screen is the one that the patient will do. Dr. Rothermel says many people dread the colonoscopy with the prep and time off from work. So for those unwilling or unable to have one, Cologuard is an option. Done at home, checking for blood in the stool and... The Cologuard adds a fecal DNA aspect that can be seen um, with colon cancer or more advanced type polyps. It picks up 92% of colon cancers, but... And as people get older, the, um, the risk of a, a false positive um, goes up and the accuracy of the test actually goes down. It's not recommended for those with a family history of cancer or polyps, inflammatory bowel disease, or symptoms of cancer. Also in development at the National Cancer Institute, an at-home test to check for HPV that can cause cervical cancer. To validate uh, some of these uh, truly sensitive and specific, as we call it, tests that are highly accurate and actually can convey the risk for cancer. Only 70 to 75 percent of women get regular cervical cancer screenings. So the importance of screening for cervical cancer prevention is paramount. And with so many women in Alabama lacking access to doctors in rural areas, this would be a game changer. And therefore, it's really important to find innovative ways to reach uh, participants, reach women where they are, which means at home and at a setting that they're most comfortable with. Genetic tests promise to screen for Alzheimer's and other serious health issues. But doctors warn proceed with caution on those. They don't say whether you will actually develop the disease, which could lead to anxiety. You can check the FDA's website to see which home tests it has authorized. Also check the expiration date on your test and read instructions how to store it. Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News. Now, there is little regulation for so-called wellness tests that check for things like food sensitivity, stress, or cell aging. Always check with your doctor for recommendations and follow up. If you have a story you'd like the iTeam to look into, check out the iTeam page on our website or email us, iTeam at abc3340.com.